8.03 on Thursday, October 24th. We're at 58 degrees now. Highs in the upper 60s. Sunny and cooler. Good morning. I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm John Aaron. The top local story we're following this hour. Early in-person voting begins today in Maryland, where voters will decide the closely watched Senate race between Prince George's County Executive Angela Also Brooks and former Governor Larry Hogan. We get more from WTOP's Grace Newton. Early voting runs through next Thursday, October 31st. And keep in mind, you can go on weekends. You can cast your ballot at any of the nearly 100 early voting centers around the state between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. each day. As long as you're in line by 8 p.m., you can cast your ballot. Not registered to vote yet? No worries. You can register the same day as you vote. Early voting is already underway in Virginia and will last through November 2nd. In D.C., early voting starts next Monday and runs through November 3rd. Grace Newton, WTOP News. For a full voting guide, go to WTOP.com. The Montgomery County school system is losing nearly $40 million after a simple math error. We get details from WTOP's Kyle Cooper. Superintendent Dr. Thomas Taylor in a letter to the school board says a calculation error led to the loss of state dollars for renovations for Charles W. Woodson High School. County Council Member Will Jawando had this to say to 7 News about the situation. It's a surprise in that it's such a it's a big amount and we're finding kind of late this late in the process. Superintendent Taylor is recommending funds be shifted from other projects to complete the work, but that won't make up all the loss and he's asking the county for a new allocation of $21 million to make up the shortfall and will work to try to get the state aid back. Kyle Cooper, WTOP News. Students and teachers are celebrating a new beginning at Woodson High School. WTOP Scott Gelman reports it's tied to a name change that was a year in the making. Here in Fairfax, I would certainly never have agreed with Mr. Woodson's integration policies because he fought it very hard for a very long time. Community members like longtime basketball coach Paul Jenkins are turning the page on the previous namesake's troubling past. The county's making the switch after learning longtime superintendent Wilbert Tucker Woodson supported segregation. Now it'll be named for Carter G. Woodson. He not only dedicated his life to the collection, protection, and study of African American history, he ensured that others had access to that history. That's Principal Kevin Greta. The signs outside have been switched, and a portrait of the new namesake is right by the front office. I know under this new name, our school will continue to produce the same high-caliber students. At Woodson High School, Scott Gelman, WTOP News. Hundreds of voices come together at the Washington National Cathedral. WTOP's Dick Giuliano says it happened last night at a free event designed to unite the community. The Kennedy Center teamed with Levine Music and the Cathedral for the event called The Big Sing. Micah Handler, founder of the Jerusalem Youth Chorus of Israelis and Palestinians, brought together the DMV to raise their voices. So there's something about singing in groups that, from early on in human evolution, has played a really important role in creating a sense of community. The Community Sing is part of the Kennedy Center's Arts and Wellbeing program because Kennedy Center President Deborah Rutter says social singing builds community and understanding and is good for you. There are scientific studies that tell you making music, participating in arts activities brings your level of anxiety and stress down. Dick Giuliano, WTOP News. Coming up, McDonald's works on damage control after that E. coli outbreak. Traffic and weather in 30 seconds.